Good morning. Sunday morning from a rather wet Thailand, Ao Nang in Krabi province. Currently on lockdown, stranded in Thailand. Day four, update three. Um, <clears throat> and the roller coaster continues because today we wake up to the news that all hotels are going to close on the 10th of April where everyone has to get out effectively, just check out of the hotel. Uh, whereby you'll be rounded up by the authorities, taken off for screening and testing for coronavirus, and then thrown into a designated hotel with everyone else. This is to facilitate uh, the prevention of the spread of the coronavirus, of course, and uh, social distancing, which makes no sense whatsoever because obviously we are in a eight apartment block right now. We're the only ones here, so we're not coming into contact with anybody whatsoever. The better idea is to round us all up and stick us all in one hotel uh, with loads of people we don't know, don't know where they've been, don't know who they are or anything else. Absolutely bonkers. Um, on that basis, from yesterday's video, saying we're going to settle in and we're quite relaxed to stay until the end of May, if necessary now, um, things have obviously changed. So it's been a bit of a nightmare uh, trying to figure out if we can get home or not. Um, with all the provinces now closing down, there's no travel between provinces. You can't go out on the roads uh, and stuff like that. There's no transport. Um, so what uh, we have to figure out is if we could get to Krabi Airport. Um, the chances are, yes, we can, as long as we've got supporting paperwork. So we've had to book a couple of flights. Absolute chaos trying to get on the website and book flights, because obviously we've had the issues with flights canceled before. We've got Thai Airways still holding on to our money for a flight we booked to get home, um, which they cancelled and won't give us our money back for at the moment. Um, but I did manage to get a couple of websites up, Vietjet Air for our domestic flight between Krabi and Bangkok, um, and then Qatar Airways uh, looks like just about the only option to get back to London. There are options with KLM, we can go via Amsterdam, or uh, Ethiopia Air, you can go via Addis Ababa. Don't fancy either of those. I think you can actually go to Hong Kong and fly that way as well, but that's you're talking about six, seven thousand quid uh, for that trip. So we are relying on Vietjet Air, whose website was an absolute state this morning. Trying to, we went through, I booked it, uh, filled it all out, did it a couple of times, and um, credit card was declined several times. Um, so I ended up having to phone Vietnam and speaking to somebody there and managing to get the booking confirmed and paid for. Um, over the phone, sorted that. Rush was on then to make sure that we got the Krabby, um, sorry, not the Krabby, the, the Qatar flight booked quickly. Um, main reason being is there's only the last flight from Krabby to Bangkok is on the 10th uh, with Vietjet Air. That leaves here at 9.20 and arrives at Bangkok at 10.45. Um, unfortunately, Qatar Airways fly out of Bangkok at 10 past nine. So we missed that connection. However, because of the dates, uh, they got a flight at 2, 10 a.m. on the Saturday morning. So um, fingers crossed, if we get through all the checkpoints to get to the airport, um, and then that flight with Vietjet Air goes and arrives at Bangkok at 10, 45, we'll have a couple of hours and we can get on the Qatar Airways flight um, to Doha. And then from Doha, we can get to Heathrow. So I booked that all up this morning, absolutely smashed the credit cards, the debit cards to bits um, doing that because there is some serious price gouging going on with flights at the moment. Um, it really is our last option. Um, we've got, I, I certainly don't want to be stuck here now. <laughs> Complete contrast. Yesterday it was all sunny, it was on the beach, settling down, we come back here, sat by the pool and went, yeah, this is going to be fine, we just chill out, um, take the hit and stay here till the end of May whatever comes today it's like got to get out as quickly as possible because we don't know don't want to end up in one of these hotel prisons um for god knows how long with no idea where we're going to be put who with or anything else so um yeah we've managed to, to, to book the flights uh, i got all the confirmations through had them all printed up today booked a taxi um that's got to go quite early on friday because there's restrictions for road travel um not only with the checkpoints on the way to the airport but also they shouldn't be out on the road after a certain time or something, I don't know. So, yeah, fingers crossed we've got everything in place. Hey, up the thunder's starting now as well. Um, so, yeah, stranded in Thailand, might not be stranded anymore. We're, we're attempting to get home. Fingers crossed we leave here on Friday afternoon. Um, 
fly to Bangkok, fly to Doha, fly to Heathrow, getting in around about 2.20 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. And then it's back to Swindon, um, if we can find a taxi. Um, Mr. Edwards, hopefully we'll be able to sort us out with that. Um, and then uh, Tim and Linda Hunt, fabulous, fabulous friends, um, have offered us um, the annex at the house, Louise's place, uh, since she's moved out. So we can go in there, self-isolate for a fortnight, just for everyone's peace of mind and stuff. And uh, at least we'll be back on UK Seoul. No chance of going back to Spain um, at all. I think they've just extended lockdown there yet again to the end of April. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not, as long as we're not in Thailand anymore, uh, we get out of here because there's absolutely no assurance of what's going on. Everyone's completely confused. There's been chaos at Bangkok uh, the night before last. A load of Thai nationals arrived on various flights. We're told they'd have to go into quarantine for two weeks. Don't upset Thai people. They go nuts. Um, so yeah, absolute chaos at Bangkok, uh, which has led to Bangkok airport closing to all incoming flights. Uh, for a couple of days. Knock on effect of that, of course, is the flights that were going out can't actually come in. So now there's hundreds and thousands of people stuck at Bangkok again with no flights, um, which I'm sure was gonna have a knock on effect. So hopefully they get all that cleared up before um, Friday, Saturday, when we're due to fly on the last flight out of Krabi to Bangkok. Fingers crossed that goes. Um, and then fingers crossed getting onto Qatar to get home for Saturday. That's stranded in diet, Thailand. Don't, don't even go there. That's stranded in Thailand, day four, update three. Um, fingers crossed, the story will stay the same now. Those flights will stay in place. We're gonna go to bed, we're gonna wake up in the morning. We've no idea if, uh, if those flights are still gonna be there or not. The rain's letting off a little bit now, so you can have a little look outside, because I'm not showing you this yet. This is, uh, I'm on, up on the rooftop at the moment of where we're staying. Um, you got the mosque over there, Al Nam Mosque, down Muslim Street. And uh, this is a little little neighbourhood that we're staying in at present. We've got a little pool down there you might be able to see. So yeah, that's it. Day four Thailand update and uh, fingers crossed. We'll see you tomorrow and it'll be good news.